Now this is the last and, and this is a quite a tricky bit involving compound percentage increase or decrease and this time we're going to be thinking about using in a reverse um, compound problem. So let me give you an example. Let's say I need to save, I want I, uh, I want to have um, £5,000 in three years time. Okay, um, for whatever reason, I want to buy something that's going to cost me that. Now, um, I found a savings account that's going to pay me, um, that's going to pay me um, 2.9% interest per annum. Okay, the question this time is how much am I going to have to put in the bank today to have £5,000 in three years time? And quite simply, there are two uh, formulas that we could use to help us. So we start off this time with the original, which is 5,000. We can multiply it by the multiplier. So we know it's uh, 2.9. So our multiplier is going to be 1.029. Now notice this time, because it's a reverse compound problem, my indices for time is negative. So if I put 5,000 and multiply it by the multiplier to the net power of negative three, it would tell me that if I want to have 5,000 pounds in three years time at 2.9% interest today, I would have to put 4,589 pounds and 6p in the bank. There's also another way of doing it, just to show you the two different ways. You could put the original figure in, but you could also divide it by the multiplier and this time you keep to the positive power and three and that would give me exactly the same answer 4,500 and and we use this when we're working backwards when we want to find a, a, a sum of money in the future and what would we need to invest um, to start and that's it